so this is a review of the uh, Meter K MK08 uh, EMF tester. So this device is a really reasonably priced um, EMF meter. Um, I got it, got it on Amazon. It's currently, the, the price is thirty one ninety nine. Um, there is an offer uh, that I got it for, for twenty one ninety nine, and it's still priced at that um, currently as of the time I'm recording this video. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, very reasonably priced. It's got, but it's got a few, um, uh, it's got four buttons here, of course, we can see on the front. Uh, each of them have a couple of different functions. So as we turn it on, of course, that's the power button. Um, so once the device is on, um, pressing the power button again uh, also will mute or turn on the sound. So it's got a sound function, which I quite like, uh, when it starts to pick up uh, readings that are... Um, uh, getting towards the day or in the danger zone it'll start to beep <clears throat> so if we zoom in there you can see the top there's a little icon with a set with a with a um, sound icon so if I press the power button again that will mute the sound and then we've got here the temperature button we can change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit you can see that changing there on, on the, the bottom reading Celsius to Fahrenheit uh, then here we've got uh, the uh, units of measurement so we've got either uh, micro Tesla or if you press it again that'll be milligauss and here we've got uh, the mode button that has a few different functions as well <clears throat> so if I do a uh, if I hold the mode button for a, a second then the backlight lights up so, of course, if you're outside in a, in a dark testing, then you've got a backlight to it. Um, if we press the mode again, there's two more functions. Where if we press it once, you see that little symbol came up that says hold, which will mean when you're testing something, what happens is um, when you're testing a device that's giving off um, EMFs, the reading fluctuates uh, up and down. Um, so, pressing the mode button once will hold it on whatever reading it was when you press the button and then if you pressed it twice so if when it's off you press it twice it will come to that's uh, max where it says max so maximum which will then measure uh, the radiation coming off the device uh, and then hold it at the maximum reading that it gives you if that makes sense so I'll demonstrate that in a sec so if I just turn that all off so we've got the sound on and the backlight on and it's on milligauss I'm going to walk towards the router just to show you what happens. Now with this device, I, I do really like it, especially for the price. Um, it's very reasonably priced. It does work very well, um, but you have to get very close to the object you're testing before it starts to um, give the reading. So, uh, it, but it seems very accurate and, and so forth, and it works, of course. So as I walk towards the router, which is just on the bookshelf there, um, you'll see once I get very close, it will start to give... Uh, the reading so it's moving there now and as I get closer it will start to beep so that starts to go into the like the danger zone I guess so if I were to press that mode button uh, one time to hold it will hold on hang on so it's it's held on 1.8 which is what it was when I pressed the button so now if I turn that off I do it again I'm gonna set it on max so you can just see that there excuse the back lights there um, so I uh, put the max function on and then walk to the device. It will then start testing and it will pause at its highest reading. That makes sense? So I've walked away and it's, it's paused there at the highest reading, which is 16.4. So that's a really useful function. It will tell you um, uh, what is the max uh, negative or, or harmful reading that's coming off there. Okay, so yeah, overall I like this um, this. Um, <clears throat> uh, EMF meter, especially for the price. I think it's really good. It works really well. Of course, there are a, a lot better ones out there um, with a lot more advanced functions and so forth, for, but they're a lot more expensive. Uh, but it depends on what you need it for. Um, if you're looking for just a, a reasonably priced EMF uh, meter to test a few devices around your house, and it also if it's, it, you're just getting started with, with testing um, EMFs, around your house and, and your office and so forth, then uh, this is a great one to start with for sure. Um, rather than spending, you know, hundreds of dollars on, on an expensive one, um, this is, I would say, this is a good one to start with. Um, if you want to know more, you can look at the link below 
uh, this video, which is, uh, I've, I've put a link there to a more detailed review that I've written on my blog um, about the Meter K. And also I've put the link in the description box below this video to, um, uh, to, if you want to buy this on Amazon, you can go there directly and see what the current uh, price is now. So as I said, I paid um, twenty one ninety nine for it when it was an offer. Uh, it may still be that price if you if you click on the link below. Um, otherwise, it might have that offer might have ended and it have gone back to its normal price, which is still very reasonable. Uh, and I would pay that anyway. It's thirty one ninety nine, I think, was the original price. So um, yeah, uh, click the links below if if um, you want to know more. And I hope this video is helpful for you. And if it was, um, yeah, if you found it helpful, uh, please feel free to uh, like the video and, and uh, maybe share with your, with your friends. I'd appreciate that. Okay, thanks for watching.